Shalom, Shalom, Akiyam. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakak, Radash. I would also like to give a double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, where I learned this 144% truth. I would also like to say peace and salutations to the hopeful elect scattered throughout all four corners of this earth. It's just Bayan back again through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. And I just wanted to do a quick lesson uh, going into uh, the latest information uh, regarding uh, a rapper by the name of Gangsta Boo, okay, which has been put down by another wicked rapper put down by none other <laughs> By none other than Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, all right, pursuing the Psalms, the 68th chapter. Okay, all issues of death come from the Lord, man. You see? And you stupid so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you fail to realize that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is anti rap. Okay? He's made a bold stance, okay? Towards you rappers, man, by killing you, man. And here it is. You stupid niggas don't even realize it. You still want to get a, uh, a record deal with Amalek. You still want to make a one-hit wonder. You see, you still want to be a rapper. You still want to spew that madness. But here it is. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is taking you wicked niggas off the map at an alarming rate. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are not going to learn, okay? This is, you're, you're so gone in the mind, okay? The whole head is sick, you're through, okay? You have to be reset. This is the only thing left for you. It's for Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai to visit you with the evil, man. You see, because you, you fail to, to understand the scourges that are sent upon you, man. Some of you get shot and survive. You get stabbed and survive. You get jumped damn near to death and you survive. But you continue in your madness. You see it as if <laughs> you got lucky. No. You were given an opportunity to repent. Because a lot of you, if not all of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans caught up in this wicked lifestyle, you have heard the report. Okay? Whether it be from a family member or you on being online, you walking through the city in the chief place of con concourse and coming across camps. You can't say you haven't heard the report. But like the majority of you so-called Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans, you're pulling away at the shoulder. You see, but there's a penalty for that. <laughs> you see, and it equals death. Your open rebellion equals death. Now, I got a few clips I want to get, right, of this, uh, you know, this wicked nigga, man. All right? It's who met her demise, man. You see? Let's get this real quick. Let's get this uh, in the book of Sirach. See, we don't feel bad for you wicked niggas, man. Because we warn you. We, we're starting with the elders and the apostles of the great millstone on down to us like-minded men. You're being warned constantly, day in and day out, seven days a week, the trumpet's being blown. But you stupid niggas don't want to listen. Okay, this is why you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are going to continue to be put down like grievous dogs that you are, man. You see? The brute beasts. Okay? The, the barbarians you want to live like, you're going to continue to be put down like one, man. Scripture says, with the forward, the Lord will show himself forward, man. You see? Hey, it's not going to stop. The majority of you are going to have a missile with your name on it. The book of Ecclesiasticus, also known as the book of Sirach. Bear with me. Chapter 19. And verse 22, and it reads, The knowledge of wickedness is not wisdom. Neither at any time the counsel of sinners... Prudence. 
You see? This wicked knowledge that you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans possess, okay? It's not wisdom. Your ability to cook up some crap, okay? Your ability to break down a Glock in 30 seconds and clean it and put it back together. Hey, that's not wisdom. You see? Your ability to flip a pack, that's not wisdom. Okay? Your ability to spit 16... Uh, spit a six, spit a fire sixteen. That's not wisdom. Why? Because you don't fear the Lord. You wicked niggas don't fear the Lord, which is the beginning of wisdom. That's wisdom to fear Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. But this is what you so-called, no, you the majority of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans lack. You don't have a healthy fear for the highest power conceivable in his only begotten son. You people ignorantly call God and Jesus Christ the true names, okay, of the heavenly father and the only begotten son is Yahweh. It's his true name of the heavenly father. Yahweh means he is. Yah means he. Hawa means he exists. He's omnipotent. You see, he is, man. Okay, Baha Shem means in the name, and Yahweh Shai means he delivers or he's the deliverer. Yah means he, Yahweh Shai means deliverer. These are the true names of the Heavenly Father and his only begotten Son and the Lashawan Kwadash, the Paleo, ancient Paleo Hebrew tongue. Okay, the language of the heavens, man. These are the true names, and you so-called, the majority of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you don't fear the Lord, and it shows in your actions, okay? Like they say in the world, it's a true saying, actions speak louder than words. You can say you love the Lord all day long, hey, but your actions say otherwise, man. Your actions say otherwise. Let's get this clip real quick. Bear with me. We begin with breaking news at 10. Beloved Memphis rapper Gangsta Boo of 3-6 Mafia has died. She was found dead at a house in Whitehaven earlier this evening. Good evening. Thanks for staying up late with us. I'm Ashley Paul in for Shea Arthur. WREG's Jordan James joins us live with the very latest on the investigation and how she's being remembered. Jordan. Hey, Ashley, for many, Gangsta Boo was known as the Queen of Memphis, a phrase that pays homage to her legendary rap career. Now her legacy will live on through the lives of those who loved her. Tonight, hearts are heavy. This is a heartbreak to um, Memphis and to the culture of hip-hop. As the city grieves the loss of one of its own, Against the boo of 3-6 Mafia. This was royalty, you know, this was a legend, a living legend, you know, and now she's, you know, amongst that alumni with the greats. The 43-year-old was found dead at a house in Whitehaven Sunday evening. Early indications from loved ones are that no foul play was suspected in her death, which comes as a surprise to them. She loved what she wanted to do she had so many plans so many dreams about what she wanted to do for 2023 you heard what he just said she has so many plans she wanted to do what she wanted to do you see she has so many plans of what she wanted to do in 2023 see hey all man's goings are of the lord how then can a man understand his way man hey you can think you're gonna wake up tomorrow Hey, it's not guaranteed. You can think you're going to go to sleep tonight in your warm, cozy, comfortable bed with the fluffy pillows. That's not guaranteed. Hey, this is why we pray constantly. Us Akiyama and Akwata Fe Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shao Hadali. We pray constantly. We pray at work before we leave the house, after we uh get home, while we're in traffic, you see, while we're out there doing our thing, uh, going shopping at the gym. Whatever it may be, we hey, the, the hopeful elect pray constantly. See, because we understand that we are in a, a, a land full of snares, man. We understand we're behind enemy lines. We understand that we are not promised tomorrow. We're not promised the next second. See, 
We've greatly offended our power. Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. And those of us of the whole four elect understand that, man. That's wisdom. Because why? We have the fear. You see? We have the fear. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. Doesn't it say that in Isaiah 33 and 6? You see? And that's what you so-called, the majority of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, black. You want to do what you want to do. You see? You want to move on your own accord. Hey, that mentality, it's a guarantee it's going to very well cost you your life. She told me about him three days ago. Dale Lawrence is a longtime friend of Gangsta Boo and tells WREG that the beloved rapper had recently become depressed prior to her death. She lost her father. That was a very big blow for her. She was a daddy's girl. And it was many nights I prayed with her and just talked her through her grief. So... I'm glad to know she's at peace. A reality that brought fans out in droves to pay their respect to the pioneer rapper who left a lasting impact on them fans. She was always happy. Uh, she was a free spirit. And that's what I want people to remember her as. It's a legacy of uh, hard work of dedication, of, um, you know, making it out of Memphis. Despite relocating to California, Gangsta Boo never lost sight of her Memphis roots, which she proudly spoke about with WREG this past spring. I'm from Memphis. Hello. Memphis, you know. But I'm only on the blueprint. In her final days, she spent time seeing family and friends. It was a gesture that loved ones say, embodies who she was the world only knew her gifts they didn't know her heart and she had the biggest heart and loved very hard and her friends and family who know her they know that and that's what we will miss the most and at this time an official cause of death has not been released as we learn more about this developing case we'll pass that information along for now reporting here live tonight downtown jordan jane through see Friend of the world. You can see, you can see she was a friend of the world. And what's that? What scripture say? Um, if you're a friend of the world, that's enmity. If you're a friend of the world, yeah, that's enmity to Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. Let's get that. I want to come back here. I want to go down the verse. Here, let me just get this real quick. Um Let me see if I can get it. There it is. The book of James. Whoo! The Wadi Yahweh by Shimmy Shai. The book of James, chapter 4 and verse 4, and it reads, You adulterers and adulteresses, know ye not that the friendship of the world is enmity with Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai? See? Hey, she was an enemy to Yahweh by Shimmy Shai, along with these other wicked rappers, man. Because all they do is, is, is spew madness and put enchantments and, 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 and cast spells on our people, man. They keep our people in further division. They're working hand in hand with Amalek, man. The chief house of Esau, Edom. The so-called white man. The small hats. The gutter rats. The imposters. These rappers work hand in hand with them. How do I know that? Because Amalek runs the rap music business, man. He introduced it. This is cooked up by Amalek. Okay, these wicked niggas you see with the pants hanging off their ass, woman looking like straight full blown whores, blue hair, purple hair, green hair, tatted faces, tatted eyeballs, piercings all over their damn face. Hey, this is what e Amalek cooked up. Amalek threw a threw an Israelite in the oven, and a, a, a nigga came out in all forms, shapes, sizes, and colors. Cause that includes the so called. Uh, uh, Latinos and Native Americans too, man. Y'all full-blown niggas too, man. Hey, we ain't forget about you. You see? This is what happens. You're a friend of the world. See? You forgot that the God of this world is evil E. So if you're a friend of this world, hey, you're an enemy to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and you're on his crosshairs, man. And it's only a matter of time before he takes you out. Oh, or he'll preserve you. Because remember, scripture says the wicked are preserved for the day of destruction, man. Hey, the majority of you are being preserved for a missile. That, that's second death. Hey, which is right around the corner. Which is right around the corner. Let's continue on. 
Of course, the uh, the sea hip gotta come. Jacob's trouble gotta come, right? Famine, death, and destruction. We understand, hey. But the missiles ain't too far along, man. They sitting in the silos, just waiting. You see, they'll be next after that. After that sea hip, that mark of the B E A S T. Okay, after that famine touches you, Jakes, right? Teeth of wild beasts, civil war, race riots. See, let's continue on. Whosoever therefore will be a friend of the world is the enemy of Yahweh. Bahashem Yahweh Shai. <laughs> you see? Go figure why these rappers keep getting visited with evil, man. Can't y'all see how these rappers getting killed? You stupid niggas that want to keep rapping and be a rapper? It, it, it's not, it's not. <laughs> uh, uh, a light bulb's not going off over your head? Like, hold on. Like, in your conscience. You don't think something divine's taking place? You're not even considering it? But people, hey, scripture says though, Isaiah, um, is that Isaiah? Isaiah 1 and 3? Um, a ox know his owner and an ass of master's crib. <laughs> you see? But Israel do not consider. See? You're not considering that this could be the works of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. But guess what? Starting with the elders and the apostles, the great millstone on down to us like-minded men, we're here to tell you that it is. Okay, all these grievous deaths that are coming upon you wicked niggas in the rap industry, it's of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. He's sending those death angels on your ass, man. Hey, whether you believe it or not, and it's going to continue. Let's go back to Sarat. It's going to continue. It's not going to stop. The book of Sirach chapter 19. I wanted to get... Uh... Actually, that's what I wanted. Uh, what did I want? I want to stay in Sirach. Sirach, uh, Sirach, uh, let me go here real quick. Is that Sirach the fifth chapter? Khan, that's Sirach the fifth chapter. Khan, the book of Sirach, chapter five and verse six, and it reads, And say not his mercy is great. He will be pacified for the multitude of my sins. And that's the mentality of a wacky, tacky Christian. And the majority of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans subscribe to that philosophy. You're drunk off that wine of Christianity. You see? This is why you think in your feeble minds that you can do as thy will and get away with it. No. You cannot be a brute beast, okay, and still say you fear the Lord and you love God and not your Jesus. No. That's a damnable heresy, man. Okay? The way you the way you worship our power. Because you're disobedient, rebellious, hard-headed, stiff-necked, and hard-hearted, man. And you do not do what the Lord says, man. Okay, you're, you're openly rebellious. Let's continue on. For mercy and wrath come from him and his indignation resteth upon sinners, man. And indignation goes into righteous anger. His righteous anger resteth upon sinners, man. What sin? Transgression of the law. Okay, yeah, we understand we're under grace. OK, but you still have to keep the law, statutes and commandments to the best of your ability. You, you, we, keep, we don't make void the law. See. But here it is, you so-called Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans want to continue to join yourself to the heathen. OK, you want to continue to eat all this abominable food that you're not supposed to be eating. You see. 
You want to you want to you want to continue to join yourself to these holidays that the heathens uh, celebrate. You want to be in, you want to um, idol worship. Y'all want to keep celebrating Christmas. This is the repercussions for these things, man. As a matter of fact, there was actually another clip I found when I was looking for that news clip because the spirit led me to look into a news. Clip. I was going to go into an article, but, you know, hey, whatever the spirit wants. But I actually ended up finding another. Uh, this one right here. All right. This is rapper Gangsta Boo's last moments video before death at 43. <laughs> here it is. You 43 rapping. Damn. Damn. Y'all see it. I can steal your gift, lady. <laughs> Celebrating Christmas like they don't know what. See, and this is what Jake do. This is what Jake wants to do. Jake wants to do what they want to do. You tell Jake they're going off and this is against the scriptures and against our power, they don't give a damn. Hey, so there you go. Okay, I was explaining to MJG that I'm putting a filter on this. <laughs> Just, ah! You don't look bad with the filter. <laughs> yeah, mate. <laughs> yeah, look at the way y'all was in. See? Hey, that's the point. Let's go get this. See? Jake loves to be wicked. Folly is said in great dignity, man. Folly, yo, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans have made a sport of being wicked. This is why Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is going to burn the rest of you off. Those of you that don't get caught up in these calamities, man. Those of you that don't, that those of you that escape the famine, right? The teeth of wild beasts, right? The, the, when the troopers come storming in, right? You escape all, you escape the FEMA camps. Guess what? Those that escape the hunger, right? Let this, hey, you're going to be consumed by the rage of the fire, man. There is going to be a missile with your name on it, man. You're going to take part in that second death. You're going to take part in that. There's no way you're going to get away. It will be a marvel if you escape. You see? Let's get this real quick, right? We'll tell Jake, don't celebrate Christmas. That's idolatry. It goes into Molech. Okay? It goes into Nimrod. It go it, this, that, child sacrifice. Boom. Break it down. Get the history. These niggas still won't listen. Get the scriptures. Jeremiah 10. These niggas still won't listen. Hey, so here you go. The book of Proverbs chapter 17 and verse 10, and it reads... A reproof, right? Which goes into what? A correction. Okay? Entereth more into a wise man than a hundred stripes into a fool, man. So a damn fool can get hit with a hundred stripes and he still won't be corrected. Still won't be corrected. Still won't change. You see? At that point, all you can do is reset him. Right? He might he all you can do is delete them at that point. Right? The book of uh Proverbs chapter 17 and verse 11, and it reads, An evil man seeketh only rebellion. And this is the mind state the majority of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are in. You're in a rebellious mind state. And when you go into that word rebellion, right, we can grab it real quick, as a matter of fact. Let's just grab it real quick. Rebellion. Rebellion, right? We want uh, the noun. We want the second definition, right? The action or process of resisting authority, right? You're resisting Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Okay? You're resisting Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Openly. 
And then you rap about it, man. You rap about your open rebellion. See? Similar words. Defiance. Disobedience. You see? Insubordination. You get it. And rebellion is likened unto witchcraft. And pursuing in the book of Exodus, what's it say? You should not suffer a witch to live. This is why Yahweh Bashim is executing you wicked niggas, man. This is one of many reasons why. This is one of many reasons why. Let's go, um, let's go back. Let's continue on. In the book of Proverbs, chapter 17 and verse 11, and it reads, An evil man seeketh only rebellion. Therefore, a cruel messenger shall be sent against him. And this is what we're seeing. We're seeing a cruel messenger sent against you wicked niggas. You keep getting visited with the evil. You rap it specifically, man. Again, Yahweh Bashim Shai is executing you wicked niggas at an alarming rate, you rappers, man. At an alarming rate. For you not to be able to notice it, hey, you, you have a mental block or something. See? And it's because you wicked niggas don't fear the Lord, man. You don't fear. Let's get this. Matter of fact, let's jump up a couple of chapters. The book of Proverbs chapter 19 and verse 23, and it reads, The fear of the Lord tendeth to lie. You see how this is why scripture says the fear of the Lord is beginning of wisdom. <laughs> this is one of the reasons why it says that. The fear of the Lord tendeth to life, man. Opposite of that's obviously what? Death. Doesn't that say doesn't that say that in Proverbs? What's that? Proverbs, the eighth chapter? All that hate me, love death. You see? And he that hath it shall abide satisfied. See, those that fear the Lord, they're gonna abide satisfied. In more ways than one. See, satisfied in the mind, comfort it. Right? Hey, when calamities break loose. Hey, this is when those mercies are going to be shown. See? And affliction is when the mercy is going to be shown, man. When this famine hits, what scripture say? My servant shall eat. My servant shall drink. You see? My servant shall have, uh, shall be, have, have a joy, uh, be uh, in a joyful state of mind, roughly paraphrasing. See? When all hell's breaking loose, those of the elect, Lord willing, with part of that precious number, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is going to secure his elect. You see? Don't get it twisted. We're going to go through things. Lord willing, with part of that elect number, you know? Those of the hopeful elect, they're going to go through things. Because pursuing the second Ezra <clears throat> uh, 7 and 18, you know, it goes into the righteous will suffer straight things. So there's no way around that. Hey, but Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is going to comfort us. We have this word in us. See, precepts are going to be activating when we find ourselves in the jam, in the position of difficulty. Precepts are going to activate. See? Because we understand the will of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh which is critical information. So, you know, this is this is beautiful. Right? But for you wicked so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, <laughs> not so much. Not so much, see? Let's continue on. And he that have it shall abide satisfied. He shall not be visited with evil, see? So you wicked so-called Negro, Latino, the Native Americans, I don't fear the Lord. You're going to continue to be visited with evil, okay? It's not going to stop. It's not going to let up. No. We're coming into a time, all right, whether you so-called Negroes, Latinos, the Native Americans believe this or not, we're coming into a time, okay, that's going to be so evil <clears throat> that no other, uh, <clears throat> there was, there is the evil that's going to come in these latter days has never been evil like this since, since a kingdom's been in existence, man, pursuing the Daniel 12. You see? 
It's going to be a totally different level of evil. And guess what? You wicked so-called Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans that chose to be openly rebellious and disobedient to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and wanted to pull away at the shoulders, okay, and scorn and scoff the men of the Lord that he sent, you are going to get caught dead smack in the middle of this evil, okay? You're going to get caught dead smack in the middle of it, okay? And at the end of it, those of you that make it, all right, out of these evils, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is going to leave you right here on this soil in America, Mystery Babylon the Great, and melt you, man. <laughs> you don't believe me? Let's close out here. The book of Ezekiel, chapter 22. And I'm going to start at verse... Um, I'll start at verse 18, and it reads... The book of Ezekiel, chapter 22, and verse 18, and it reads... Son of man, the house of Israel is to me become dross. Okay, and dross is trash, man. Dross is something that's useless. You can't use it. You just you burn it, man. It's just useless, right? All they are brass and tin and iron and lead in the midst of the furnace. They are even the dross of silver. Therefore... Thus saith the Lord, power, because you are all become dross before Salakia, behold, therefore I will gather you into the midst of Jerusalem. And remember, Jerusalem is a people before it's a place. You see? And how have you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans become dross? Hey, the philosophies you subscribe to, Christianity, Egyptology, right? Uh, Islam. You see, Buddhism, witchcraft, okay? These things make you dross, okay? Your mindset, your, your open rebellion, your disobedience, your, your, you think the laws are done away with. No, okay? You're wrong. Don't you see? <laughs> you don't see that you're wrong? Look at the evil that you're being visited with. Hey, but we don't expect you to see it because at the end of the day, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai blinded you, man. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai blinded two thirds of you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. You see? Just so he can kill you, man. This is the power we're dealing with, man. This is why scripture says it's a fearful thing, okay, to fall into the hands of the living power, man. This thing is no joke. And you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, all you people, for, for that matter, I gotta find out in these latter days, all right, the power that we that we that we speak of, right? Starting with the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone on down towards like-minded men, all right, the true power, okay? The true power of all heaven and all earth, right? Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, okay? The true power of all heaven and earth, uh, the truest power, there's no other power. Okay, it's gonna visit you people, okay, with evil and only evil, man. Ezekiel 7, evil and only evil is coming to you people, man. Starting with evil E, all right, and every one of you joined unto him, and two thirds of you, Jacob, joined unto him. And the rest of these heathens are gonna get served too, over here in Mystery Babylon the Great and elsewhere. Other areas around the world. You see? Hey, re it's the, it recompense is, is in full effect. Recompense is in full effect, man. This is the season that we're in. And this is the only way the kingdom of heaven is going to be established. Okay? It's through great tribulation. So we welcome it with open arms. Because we understand that it must come. You see, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, again, are going to get caught smack, dead, dab in the middle of it, man. No protection. You're going to have no divine intervention on your side. No, you're not going to have that mark of exemption on you, man, which is the Tawah. No. 
It's going to be open season on you and your family, man. Why? Because you just you chose to be rebellious and disobedient to your power. You're going to be crying for the Lord then, though. Then, no. You're going to be crying for the Lord then. Let's continue on. Therefore, thus saith the Lord power, because ye are all become dross, behold, therefore I will gather you in the midst of Jerusalem. Remember, Jerusalem's a people before it's a place. As they gather silver and brass and iron and lead and tin into the midst of the furnace to blow the fire upon it, to melt it, so will I gather you in my anger and in my fury, and I will leave you there and melt you. You see? Two thirds of you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are gonna get hit with an intercontinental ballistic missile blast, man. Okay? Which is gonna melt your tongue and your mouth, okay, and your eyes and your sockets, man. And your flesh, skin off your flesh, man. You're going to be right in the middle of a thermonuclear fallout, man. And you're going to feel every bit of it. And chances are you're going to have a, 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 a micro uh, CHIP in you too. You see? Because you trust so much in the shadow of Egypt. But the shadow of Egypt is going to be your shame. Moral of the story, repent, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, which means what? Turn back. Turn back from what? Your wickedness, man. Your iniquities. Return back to the obedience of the scriptures in the name of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. Continue to watch the elders and apostles of Great Millstone on down. Learn, okay? Understand what's necessary to become purified and made white from the inside out, okay? But ultimately, only the elect is going to get it because this thing's about predestination, see? But if you're tearing in the fence and if you, you, know, you find yourself back and forth, back and forth, hey, you better make a decision because time is ticking. You see these rappers getting taken out. Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shah is not playing. Repent, Yasha Allah. You see, those of you that, you know, have a have a mindset where you feel that you feel that uh, that confliction in the spirit, you know, you feel convicted. Hey, better make a decision because time is running out. All praise, honor and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Raka Kwedash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, where I learned this 144% truth. Lord willing, you Akiyam and Akwaf were edified. Barakata Yahweh, Barakata Yahweh Shai, Kal Halalim La Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Raka Kwadash, Shalawam.